All right, bro. So, um, I ain't got nothing to do. So, I just decided I'd give y'all a little Q&A, bro. Let y'all know a little something about me, bro. So, I, the other day, well, actually, not even the other day. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I've been like it. It was probably, like, last month. I asked y'all to send me some questions or whatever. That anything y'all want to know about me or whatever, like, y'all want to get to know me or y'all want to learn something about basketball, whatever it is, bro. Just ask me a question. So, I'm gonna, uh... I'm going to read these questions and I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion or answer or help or whatever I can do. You feel me? I'm just going to get, I'm just going to talk to y'all about these questions, bro. And we're going to see how that go. Anyway, before we start, bro, make sure y'all like the video and subscribe, bro. I see you in there. You in here watching the video, bro, and you don't subscribe, bro. Like, you weird. Don't be uh, weird. Bro. First you question from Ethan Lemons. I think that's what it is. But it says... Yo, so in your first vid, it says practice dunking three times a day. And I just can't get the timing. I get high enough. It just bounces out every time. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to I used to be the same way, bro. It's just, it ain't even about the timing with your steps or with your jumps. It's more like your timing trying to dunk. Like, you either... I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Your hand either too little to palm the ball to where you can't hold it and throw it in on some Giannis shit. Or you either holding it. I mean, you either trying to dunk it too fast before you get all the way up to the top. So what I'll tell you, bro, is either try to dunk it with two hands or try holding the ball a little bit longer before you try to dunk it. You know what I'm saying? Before you try to, you feel me, dunk it, just hold it for a little bit longer because you probably still going up in the air. And you probably trying to dunk it on your way up. You know what I'm saying? So get to the top of your jump and then dunk it. You know what I'm saying? You back in L.A. though, Herbo. Bro, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been hearing this a lot lately, bro. Y'all think I look like Herbo, bro? G Herbo. Y'all think I look like, hold on. Y'all think I look like G Herbo, bro? You could be a honey. I don't think I do. But if y'all think so, bro, it's whatever. I ain't caring. Sticks and stones, bro. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping, bro. I feel like I don't look like dude, but... I don't know if y'all trying to hold me or not, bro, so I don't know how to feel about that. But I want to be back in L.A. Probably, I don't know, bro. We're going to see. Probably probably no time soon. I've been I've been busy, you know. Back in school. I'm back in school now and stuff, so I've been dealing with that, bro. Just trying to, feel me, run it up on the Instagram and the top and all that, bro. YouTube and all that. So probably it'll probably be a minute before I go back over there, bro. But I'll let you know. Next question, let's see, Tay Key, I think this is T-A-Y-T, no, I can't read, T-A-Y-K-E-Y, Tay Key, all right, bet, put me on, gang, I need help changing my jumper, uh, bro, y'all know I'm the, I'm the shot doctor for real, bro, so you came to the right place, bro, but I ain't gonna lie, I ain't finna explain the whole thing in this video right here, you can just go back to the past and watch the whole nine, ten minute video I gave y'all on how to shoot, bro. It's gonna really give you right free sauce for real, bro. But just go back and look at that, bro. It's gonna get you together. <clears throat> All right. From Jay. Not not my man's Jay, if y'all know. It's a different Jay. I don't know this. But it's say, Do you have any tips about playing against aggressive defenders? Because I got a problem doing that. Hmm. I love playing against aggressive defenders, bro, because they really, they really just cook themselves, bro. That's what you gotta, that's what you gotta realize, bro. If you playing against an aggressive defender, you always gotta just hit them with a, with a double move, bro, because they finna bite the first move every time, because they so aggressive. They, they so, they so ready to get a steal, bro. They just gonna bite off the first move, so then you hit them with another move, and they throw, they throw, bro. Hit a look. Watch this look between the legs. Right, they gonna go for the between the legs. Right, they gonna try to reach in my right hand. If I go between the legs, they gonna try to reach here. Right, and when they reach, huh, right hand back over, bro, to the left, bro. They do. You know what I'm saying, bro, easy money. But then if you can't, if your handle not like that, another thing you can do is you can play with your with your with your back to the defender. Even when you out, even when you out top, like you feel me, just get your get them get them to your back like that. Keep them on your back. And make sure they can't get to the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like how you learn when you a little kid, keep your off arm up, keep your off arm up like that, and keep them on your back. 
and, and they can't do nothing. If they do something, that's a foul. I love, I love, even even though I'm skinny or whatever, I love an aggressive defender. All right, so anyway, let's see, Jack Fawcett. Hey, man, I'm from the UK. I hope to become a professional basketball player one day, like the NBA. Okay. Um, I was wondering what you did to get into D1 and the workouts you did in the gym and how you pretty much went about everything. So me, um, my, my story a little different, bro. Like, I didn't really have, like, as far as the big rankings, like, in the country and all that, you know, ESPN Top 100, all that, I didn't have none of that. But what I did, what I wish I knew, what I wish I knew when I was younger is I wish I knew that you had to work as hard. Hmm, how I want to say this? What I wish I knew when I was younger is the amount of work that you got to put in by yourself, like, outside of practice. Like, I used to just be going to practice or whatever and then just going home and chilling, bro. But really, the best thing for you to do is do the extra work, bro, like, stuff nobody doing. You got to think about it, bro. It's like, it's probably like a billion months trying to hoop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be pro somewhere, play D1 somewhere, bro. It's probably a billion people trying to get to that spot that you trying to get to, bro. So you got to think about it. What you going to do to make yourself different? You got to put the extra work in, bro. Go to the weight room. Get strong enough to be able to handle the physicality as as basketball. As you get older playing basketball, it gets more physical. Be, be really good. I'll tell you this, bro. Be really good at one or two things, bro. Find something that you want to be really good at. Ba I mean, not basketball. Shooting the ball. Dribbling the ball. Passing the ball. Playing defense. Don't try to focus on all of them right away, bro. Just find one or two things that you can do really good. Like for me, bro, I I shoot the ball very well. I dribble the ball very well. And I play defense very well. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was my three things that I excelled at. So I just focused on them and I took them to the next level. But once I got really good at them, then I started to work on every other aspect of basketball to try to become a complete player, bro. So that's my thing. That's my thing. I'm gonna tell you, bro. Like, try to, try to find something that you're really good at that's gonna separate you from a lot of other people, bro. Cause it's, it's not just you out here trying to make it. It's a billion people out here trying to get same place you're trying to get. Man. All right, LL underscore B. Hey, coach. I recently found your page and was wondering, can you coach me? <laughs> I'm not a coach, son. I'm not a coach. Far from a coach, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I probably can't even see myself being a coach. But uh, I for sure, I can give you a little bit of drills or something. You know, I give you some stuff that I do, some stuff that I know works for people to get better, bro. I give you some stuff to do. Just follow me on TikTok at um, 4K Manny. I, I I'm gonna probably put it on the screen right there. And I, I for sure give you everything you need to do. Subscribe to the channel, bro. I'm giving you free sauce every day, bro. I'm trying to tell you everything that you need to know to get you to be successful, bro. And if you got any questions, my DM always open, bro. So you can go ahead and just ask me a question through here. I'm Frank. Frank, huh? Hey, bro, how tall are you? I'm like 5'2". I just got long arms and long legs, bro. That's why I be looking like I'm six something, bro. I'm really like five two, five three. It's like nah, bro. I'm I'm just fucking with you, bro. I'm really like uh six five, maybe six six. Nah, I think everybody been telling me I caught a little growth spurt or whatever. So I'm probably like six five, six six. You know, something like that. But even if you're not tall, bro, you can still be successful with hooping, bro. You just gotta find what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Once you find what works for you in this hoop stuff, can't nobody stop you, man. But yeah, bro, I'm like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Hey there, I've been trying to increase my vertical. May I ask what workouts you do to help it increase? Man, that's crazy. But I, I, feel, I feel honored that you asked me that, bro, because if you didn't know, I didn't used to have bounce, bro. Like, I didn't used to have no bounce. But... Through the work, through the workouts, bro. But through the workouts, 
But no, nah, like I was saying, through the workouts, bro, I done gained a little bit of bounce more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to say I'm the bounciest in the world. I ain't trying to say I can't jump at all. You know what I'm saying? But mainly what I did was a lot of squats. You know what I'm saying? And it don't even have to be like with a heavy weight. But when you squat, make sure you put your butt all the way to the floor when you squatting with the weight. Don't don't be trying to, you know, load the rack up and then just doing a little half squat. No, bro. You want to get you a squat rack and you want to get you a weight where you comfortable enough to put your butt as close to the floor as you can. That's one thing, right? Next thing you want to do is, is practice jumping. You can either practice jumping with your box jumps. You can get you a box that you can jump on, on and off of. That's a respectable height. You know what I'm saying? That's good for you. Or you can practice dunking. This is both. I did both of these, bro. Like, I did, I did box jumps and I practiced dunking. I started off practicing on one foot. That's why my one foot is a little bit better than my two foot. But then eventually when I got comfortable with that, I started working more on my two foot bounce. I started practicing dunking off two feet, and then now my two foot is getting pretty respectable. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'll do. Oh yeah, then one more thing is what I just learned, bro. Don't don't look at me like I'm dumb or nothing, but I figured out calf raises they help you a lot with your bounce as well, bro. So those are the three things that help me get to where I'm at as far as bouncing stuff like that. Hello, bro. I want to come. First up, bro, don't don't come in my DMs on some weird stuff. Talk about some hello, bro. Good afternoon. Good evening, bro. How are you? Or whatever other weird stuff you would say, bro. I can't even think of no weird stuff you could say. Oh, good good morning. Um, hopefully you're doing well, bro. Just come at me on some. You feel me? Just like how you come at your man's, bro. You ain't gotta come on no no formal jump, bro. Like I'll just be chilling, bro. Ain't nothing crazy like that. But anyway, he says, hello, bro. Are you interested in shoes? Uh, if y'all seen my shoe collection, bro, y'all probably laugh. I ain't gonna lie. Because I really don't be wearing shoes like that. I just be wearing Crocs. Stuff like that, pretty much. I wear some Crocs. I didn't, the problem is with me, bro, I had, I had too many Jordans when I was little, bro. So now, they kind of played out to me. You know what I'm saying? And I won't, I won't. I want to get back into the shoes, but I don't know where to start. So y'all got some, whatever your favorite shoes is, bro, just comment down below. Let me know so I can try to step my shoe game back up and try to get to where I need to be with that. Anyways, bro, I'm going a, I'm to a probably wrap it up right there, bro. And um, if you watched the whole video, bro, I appreciate you. You a real one. I really mess with you, bro. Make sure you give a video a like. And go ahead and subscribe too, bro. Because really, it ain't even for me, bro. It's really for y'all. Like, most majority of the time, I just be trying to entertain y'all, give y'all something to do, bro. Because I know y'all be bored. I be bored too, so I know y'all be bored, bro. So, give y'all a little something to do, man. Teach y'all how to get better at basketball sometimes. And then sometimes I'll just give you something to watch, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you ain't got nothing else to watch. But, Y'all be safe, bro. I'm going to probably see y'all probably like a week or two or something. Not even a week or two. I'm, I told you I'm trying to be more consistent. So I'm going to probably see y'all in like three days. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, I'm going to get to posting every day, but I ain't there yet. But I'm going to see y'all in about three days, bro. I'm tapping with y'all, bro.